Good day everyone, this is me, Teacher Charmaine Nazareda, your computer teacher. Our topic for today is all about coloring in drawing for kids program or using tax paint application program on your computer devices. <clears throat> the different things you see around are not only made up of different lines and shapes. We can also see different colors like red, yellow, blue, green, orange, violet, brown, and black. And there are different types of shades also. In coloring or applying different types of colors using the Tax Paint application program, the first step that you are going to make or to create is you're going to select the new icon. <clears throat> After selecting the new icon, you're going to scroll down. After scrolling down, you can see the different list of coloring page that you can use to apply different types of colors using the Tax Paint application. For an example, select one specific type of coloring page. For an example, we are going to use this type of coloring page. After selecting one specific type of coloring page, you are going to select the open button. After selecting the open button, as you can see here, the coloring page is already applied on our drawing area. Now, we can now start uh, applying different types of colors that we want to use with our drawing. For an example, you can use the different types of colors or the colors palette that is available at the bottom part of the tax paint. But before applying different types of colors on the drawing, we have two options or we have two different tools that we can use to apply color on our drawing. The first option is the paint tool. If we are going to select or use the paint tool to apply different types of colors in our drawing, we need to select a specific tool first. For an example, select the paint tool. After selecting the paint tool, you can now choose one specific or different types of colors that you want to use with the drawing. For an example, you want to uh, color your drawing in a green shade. Just select the specific color that you desired. After selecting, you can now proceed inside or in the inner inner corner of your drawing for you to be able to apply the color. Okay, using the left button of your mouse, you're going to press and hold the left button of your mouse and you're going to drag it up and down or in the left and right direction until you apply the color or the specific color that you have chose a while ago or that you have chosen a while ago. If you are going to select or use the paint tool as you can see here, it will be um it will be difficult. Okay, it will be difficult for you to apply the color that you have uh, chosen a while ago because it will take time. It will take a lot of patience and time for it to be applied or for the color to be applied fully on the drawing. But you can use or you can um, for the alternate, okay, for the alternate step in applying color on your drawing, you can use the second option. The second option is the fill tool. Okay, in using the fill tool. If you are going to choose the fill tool option, it is more easier and uh, not time consuming unlike the paint tool. Because the fill tool, you're just going to have a one click, okay, a one click motion for you to be able to apply the specific, okay, the specific color that you want to apply on your drawing. For an example, let's just undo the applied color first using the paint tool. Now, we can now apply or we can now use the fill tool 
to apply the specific color that we want to apply on the drawing. For an example, I want to color this fish orange. Let's select one specific color first, which is the color orange. After selecting the color, as you can see here, the color that you have desired is already uh, highlighted. Okay, It means that you can now apply the specific color on the drawing. <clears throat> Next thing that you will do is to make sure, okay, you need to make sure that the cursor is inside the drawing that you want to apply your desired color. After that, you are going to select the left button of your mouse once. After selecting the left button of your mouse once, as you can see now, the color is evenly applied on the drawing, okay? Without overlapping the lines on the drawing. As you can see, the fill tool is much easier to use than the paint tool. But, but it is still up to you if you want to use the paint tool or the fill tool to apply different types of colors on the drawing that you will create using the tax paint application. These are the different steps in applying different types of colors using the tax paint application. If you have any questions regarding this lesson, don't hesitate to message me in our LMS. Once again, this is Teacher Charmaine Zaleda, your computer teacher. Goodbye and God bless.